him in ten minutes. Thank you. All right, choir. Hello. Welcome to Southwestern. As you see, we're getting ready for our graduation. I'm Ray Johnson, and this is my wife, Jane. You're visiting Southwestern Baptist Theological Seminary. It's stated by the Southern Baptist Convention. Southwestern is made up of three schools. Ray is graduating from the School of Theology, and I'm graduating from the School of Sacred Music. Uh, Tom Jackson here is graduating from the School of Religious Education. By this unique arrangement, Southwestern offers a well-balanced program of religious training, combining evangelistic fervor and sound scholarship. Men and women come here from all parts of the world with the conviction that God is leading them into his kingdom work. We have a few minutes. Why not let us show you around the campus? First, let's take a glance at the history of our presidents. At the turn of the century, Dr. B. H. Carroll envisioned a seminary for training preachers and other religious workers for the rapidly multiplying churches of the Southwest. With the aid of Texas Baptist, the seminary was established as a part of Baylor University. Later, it was moved to Fort Worth, and Dr. Carroll became its president. In 1915, Dr. L.R. Scarborough became the second president and led the seminary for 27 years. Dr. E.D. Hayden succeeded Dr. Scarborough and retired in 1953. Dr. J. Howard Williams is the current president. You will meet him later. Now, let me show you our campus. This artist sketch shows the relationship of the buildings. In the center of the campus is the Memorial Building, Fleming Library, the Rotunda, Truett Memorial Auditorium, Scarborough Hall, in which is found the administration offices and the School of Theology, the School of Sacred Music in Calvin Hall, the men's dormitory and cafeteria in Fort Worth Hall, and across the campus, the single women and some married couples in Barnard Hall. Price Hall houses the School of Religious Education. Now let's take a look at the three schools. The School of Theology is fully accredited by the American Association of Theological Schools. The faculty is composed of men holding high academic degrees and who are scholars in their various fields. Some of them have more than one earned doctor's degree from outstanding universities in our country and abroad. They seek to instill in the hearts of their students the spirit of the Savior. That spirit is characterized by conservative theology, fervent evangelism, loyalty in denominational service, and democracy in practice. In the historical department, students study the development of Christianity through the centuries. In the biblical and systematic departments, students learn the meaning of the Old and New Testament. They also reverently study the meaning of the cross in relationship to all humanity. By using a theological demonstration chapel and electronic equipment, young ministers receive practical training in preparation and delivery of sermons for radio and television. By listening to his sermon, he learns to criticize and evaluate it. Also, in the theological chapel, young ministers are instructed in the mechanics of the two church ordinances and other vital worship services. Calvin Hall, housing the School of Sacred Music, was made possible by Mrs. George E. Calvin in memory of Mr. Calvin. Sacred music trains.
enlightened students by covering a broad field of musical study. Emphasis is made on combination work of sacred music and religious education. In turn, students are trained to build an effective worship service through music. The faculty is composed of consecrated church musicians, and the courses of instruction are outstanding among sacred music schools in the United States. The collection of more than 30,000 musical scores and 2,000 recordings of the music library, on with the individual listening booths, introduced students to the outstanding music and composers of the past century. Its departments provide practical courses in choir work, theory and technique, and evangelism through music. Baptist music heritage is contained in the large collection of hymnals. In addition, several thousand volumes of music history, theory, and criticism in both voice and instruments are available for student use. Thorough training is received in the use of musical instruments. of the voice and in the creative force of music. Southwestern supplies a great number of our ministers of music in local churches throughout the convention at home and abroad. The School of Religious Education, located in Price Hall, was organized in 1920. It was the first of its kind among Southern Baptists. Today, it has the distinction of being the first in the South and the largest in the world. Members of the faculty are trained, experienced, and specialized teachers. They seek to prepare their students for every phase of religious educational work, in the church school and on the mission fields. Instruction is given in the use of church organizations in stewardship, missions, and evangelism. Its graduates have been a major factor developing the work of the Sunday School, the Training Union, and the other educational organizations in our churches. They participate in a program of supervised field work. Courses in religious psychology and counseling provide information which affords clinical experience for religious workers and specialized training for religious counselors. Training in Christian social work is designed to win souls and lift lives. Students have opportunities through experience to train for leadership work in goodwill centers, orphanages, and mission fields. These future church leaders are given the opportunity through workshops to learn many types of crafts which are useful in promoting vacation Bible school and the Religious drama is studied as an effective tool for presenting spiritual needs. Church recreation methods are also studied. Special classes and equipment are provided for training in elementary work, such as this fully equipped kindergarten. Students familiarize themselves with the many perplexing problems of the elementary ages through observation and practice. Courses are offered in youth education to train leadership in helping young people solve their problems. Specialized courses are offered for the students of church library work, religious journalism, educational and church secretary, and audiovisual education. Fleming Library serves all three schools. The building contains the largest collection of theological books west of the Mississippi. There is room for more than 700 students in the three reading rooms. The main card catalog is the nerve center of the library. It is developed according to standard library methods. Each student, faculty member, and outside friend has at his disposal over 130,000 volumes. Thousands of denominational, religious, and secular
spectacular periodicals are indexed and made available carols for graduate students and cubicles for teachers give privacy for study and research collections of out of print and rare books by renowned scholars are available by micro facsimile service Occasional emergencies arise which are usually solved by the seminary student loan fund. This fund was made possible by donations from sympathetic friends for this purpose. Since some emergencies are a natural part of seminary life, Southwestern is happy to render financial aid. Opportunities for student employment are available, such as library workers, bookstore clerks, student carpenters and plumbers and student switchboard operators. Foreign students from many countries are always a source of inspiration to our campus life. Many come by means of scholarships from various sources. Others find means of support through the seminary student help office. Regardless of race, color, or custom, they are Christians first. They come and go with the name of Jesus on their lips, and Southwestern is richer because of their witness. Wherever they are, or whatever they're doing, those who are a part of Southwestern are mindful of their responsibility to live in such a way that the Spirit of Christ may be seen in them. Through personal prayer, and family devotions, volunteer prayer bands, and classroom devotions. The spiritual life of Southwestern is revitalized daily as every student seeks to be molded according to God's purposes. The presence of experienced missionaries on the campus who are home on furlough offer a constant source of inspiration to those students who have volunteered for foreign missions, or any who have dedicated their lives to God's service. Along about Friday of every week, Southwestern spreads her wings. Nearly 1,000 students and many of the faculty members happily turn their thoughts to cities and rural church communities. Traveling as much as 400 miles one way they eagerly seek places of vital service to unfold the message of the Savior. They witness to the man on the street. That ye may know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. No place is too remote for the down and out to find Jesus. The living word of God feeds and comforts the soul in twilight years. Throughout Texas and the bordering states, new churches and missions offer great opportunities for service. The Holy Spirit molds and shapes these consecrated messengers for greater service. Following the days of study and preparation, these men and women are led to vital places of service in all parts of the earth. Some lead the music programs of our multiplying churches. The majority serve as pastors. Some serve as chaplains in our armed forces. Others serve as teachers. Many serve in the fields of religious education as educational directors and as youth directors. Others as church secretaries. Many serve as missionaries to people of minority groups in our own land. Others serve as missionaries to foreign fields.
spiritual experience and practical training received at southwestern have carried students through many difficult paths in these various fields there's another side of our campus life that you should see perhaps i should tell you about this also Jane and I met one day during our first year of school. Jane lived in Barton Hall, the only building on the campus where single women lived. I stayed at Fort Worth Hall, the only building on the campus where single men lived. During that time, we became aware that most students at Southwestern are married and have several children. Some live a long distance from the campus, and others live in crowded quarters. During our second year, Jane and I realized that God had brought us together. Thank you. 